Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. I'm Pamela Pick. And I'm Bill. And let's see if we have we are live. gone live. Let me reboot and refresh the screen here. And here we are. And I'm just gonna, that's a little, is that straight? Because to me it looks crooked. Oh, well that doesn't look any better, does it? Well, no, I think that did straighten out that edge. A it little, does. Oh, a little bit. Yeah. So come on in, say hello when you get in, tell us where you're from, um, where you're watching from, I guess, not where you're from. Yeah. You can, you can be, be from anywhere. That's right. Anywhere. Kathy Walton, first one in. There is Michelle and France and Jackie. Share to your face. Thank you so much for sharing. And Jean and Jean. Who? Two Jeans. Gino and, and Jean S. And Cindy. Hi, Cindy. And there's Nick from Windy, Ireland, she says. Thanks for sharing, France. So come on in. I have um, some cards to share with you. I have a crazy husband here tonight. Yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And um, I have actually kind of some fun stuff at the end. So when I get done, I'm going to show you um, some comparisons to some sample a uh, sample card that I made ahead of time and if you are new be sure to comment like and share and if you're watching this later please click the subscribe button on YouTube so that you get notification that's right sign up when we go live or um, when I upload a video which will be going back to doing some lives in on YouTube again. So we'll still have our Wednesday night Facebook live, but we'll be having some lives on YouTube also. Hi Madison. Hi Madison. Okay. Hi Laura Lynn. Hi Laura. Hi Margo. Okay, so it looks like thanks for sharing, Cindy. Okay. Um I have a couple of things to share with you before we get started. I got some incredible you know what? Is um, Mary Jo here? I think so. Is she? Because I got some incredible cards uh, from all of my team members, which is kind of cool. And she had a note in this, so she didn't, she doesn't have, um, she gives them to me so that I can send them for our veterans. Yeah, veterans. So she just puts a little note in. So does France, which is good. But I wanted to point out something. So this is from the Paper Pumpkin, which is so stinking cute. But I love this. So here's something new for people. You can loop. I'm going to do this. She made a loop out of this. Can you see that? It's just a loop out of the um, ribbon. And then it kind of comes down. I thought that was so cute. I don't know. Maybe that was just me, but, but I, I like haven't it. seen it. Yeah. I thought that was adorable. So pretty. Yeah, it is really pretty. So, which is, this is really good timing because I have um, a stack of stuff heading, actually, hopefully still this week, if not early next week. So, thank you, Mary Jo, for this. Gorgeous. And, and I love to look at this. This is another thing that I wouldn't have thought of. And it's so it's so creative. So what she did, do you see this? She has them offset, which is like my thing for step down. The, the flap is offset and she used, she cut apart that paper pumpkin and then made her own. So stinking cute. Awesome. Isn't that awesome? Okay, now look at this. So I think that France and Jackie were both... Uh, like channeling each other. So France made this cute little card. And again, she didn't sign it. Isn't that so stinking cute? I am in love with the little flowers that you did here. That is cute. Now, this is a set I didn't have. It wasn't on my radar. But after looking the way you did this, I was like, oh, yes. Oh, 
going going back the other way. What? You always convince people to buy what you're doing. I know, but this is so stinking cute. I thought this was bigger than what it is. So this is a nice size for card. I thought it was going to fill up the whole face, and I didn't want to fill up the whole face. So absolutely adorable. And then look. Look at the two folds. These two. Now Bill comes running in because he had... A, I can show him the back, can I? This is from our own Jackie. Thanks for always making... Uh, us laugh and your awesome dad jokes <laughs> but look at this it's like the two were channeling each other weren't they i love wow. it about the same fold and everything how stinking cute this is with another set that i didn't get but seeing how masculine that is that might be something worth investing also so cute cards ladies extremely creative that's my team, everybody, just want to say. Okay, now, then we have the cards that we made last week. So, if you didn't see this, this is so stinking cute. I love this color combination. This was from the DSP from the um, Two Market. So, it was the vegetable DSP. And this was the back sides. And then we used, we don't have it yet, but it comes out here in September really soon. Um, the plaid embossing folder and I thought it went so well with this plaid so we have our drawing tonight now how you get into my drawing is what you have to do is you share this video to your wall or if you're watching this later on social media um, of any platform but YouTube is the only other one that I post to anymore um, share it to to your social platform to kind of get my name out there and then let me know let me know that you do that especially on YouTube and I'm getting more and more people that have been letting me know so and then I take all the names oh my gosh I was so stinking surprised this last week so Bill do you want to grab it a couple of names and then just wait a minute while I finish my thought here okay. So he's grabbed a couple of uh, tickets there and then we give these away. I send these away as a gift. I won't sign it or anything um, to you to use as a card on your own for somebody else. And all you have to do is share it. That's it. And you can get a free handmade card. So who did you who did you come up with? Um, Kathleen Zuckerman. Kathleen Zuckerman. I don't know that name. I know the name. It's, it's I don't. on here. Sometimes she's on here. Kathleen, thank you so much for sharing, but will you message me here on Facebook or on YouTube or something um, so that we can connect and I can um, mail this card to you? I'd appreciate it. Okay, who else? Oh, in France! In France herself. France herself. All right. Well, I have your address, so... I will get that in the mail for you. So once you share the video for this week, the card that we're making tonight, which is stunning by the way, um, will be up for grabs next week. Oh. oh, and hey. What? Everybody needs to stay around. There's some good tips coming. Yes. At the end. Yes. I have, I have a little bit of extra at the end of this demonstration. So let's start out. Now, the card that I am going to make, you're not going to find the products for the card. Well, you'll find some of them in the annual catalog, like the card stock and stuff. But you're not going to find the bundle in a catalog. This is only an online exclusive. It is called Sophisticated Sled. It does have the Sophisticated Sled dies that uh, accompaniment with it. And I've used a lot of them. So I went ahead and pre um cut this out and I actually was able to get it all on one of the large things. I love it when they're small enough you can do that. And um, I'm also using the Iconic Celebrations DSP and this is also an, an online exclusive. So these items you will not find in any of our catalogs. So let's move this aside. Where do I want to start? The beginning. The beginning. You know what? I think what I'm going to do I'm going to start in the most unusual way for me. We're going to take out this little piece of scrap uh, basic white. And I am going to use 
early espresso and we're going to start with the blends first and I want to show you I'm going to actually stamp the smallest image on here it's this little cardinal which I love and so <clears throat> we're going to just put that right there oh I don't like how that stamped out let me do it again I guess we're putting it right there much better and I stamped it in early espresso and then I'm going to use blends and I'm just going to use the dark pumpkin pie for the little beak on this little guy and I'm going to use the light I think this is real red. Yeah. Oh, light cherry cobbler. Kathleen Zuckerman's here. Oh, good. Kathleen, I need your address. Yep, she goes, oh, wait, did I win? <laughs> <laughs> you yep. did. Um, I'm missing something here. Something's not right. Why is this not right? I feel like this is the wrong. I don't think this is what I used. Oh. Maybe it is. Let me see. We'll see. I need a new cherry cobbler. New cherry cobbler. So I'm going to use the, the bullet end. And I'm not blending so much as I am just coloring in. Make sure to do light little strokes. Don't let your alcohol marker sit because it'll fan bleed out. out. That's right. Bleed out kind of a gruesome thing to say well, when I'm using the red. <laughs> okay, so that part's over with. That's easy enough. And then I have this little bitty die. This is the only thing we're die cutting because I did everything else. And we'll just... Well, while you're setting that up... Okay. What do you, what do you call it when a chicken looks at lettuce? What do you call when a chicken looks at lettuce? Um, dinner? No, give me a minute. Give me a minute. When a chicken looks at lettuce. Uh, I don't know. I act like I know. I don't know. <laughs> what is it? Chicken Caesar salad. <laughs> you guys, and keep encouraging him. Keep encouraging him. Chicken Caesar salad. Caesar. I'm going to start blaming Jackie now since she sent that card with you. because yeah, she's laughing. Are you really laughing? Or are you just courtesy she laughing? Is. Well, France is liking it. Okay, France, really? <laughs> Margo liked it. Nobody likes it. I think you're just making it up. Okay, so I'm going to set that little red guy aside. Okay, now that was easy enough, right? All right, now let's bring out the card Ooh, base. Is that beige? <laughs> it's beige, yes! I think he noticed it was beige. What do you guys think? It's beige. It is beige, Bill. This is basic beige for those of you who are wondering and didn't hear Bill across the country. That's right, it's beige! <laughs> they heard you in Canada. They probably did. Maybe we have a Canadian somebody in here. They probably heard me in Ireland for sure. I'm sure they heard you in Ireland. I haven't heard from Nick recently. Okay. No, she laughed at my joke. Nick, don't laugh. So I folded this in half, but I am going to cut, and I think I'm going to cut an inch off. Yeah, let's just do an inch. Let's keep it simple. An inch off the front side, like so. So, here, Bill, knock yourself off with a piece of beige. Woohoo! <laughs> Got another bookmark in the bad dad joke book. <laughs> oh my gosh, he does have a bad dad joke. Madison bought it for him. <laughs> okay, you're going to need um, two pieces of basic white, they will be cut at three by five and a quarter. 
And let's actually, I should have left the, you're going to need two pieces of coordinating cardstock. So I love plaid a lot. So we'll use this side and I'm going to coordinate it with this side. So this is um, a mossy meadow and cherry cobbler. Those are pretty. They are pretty, aren't they? Yeah. So let's take, let's do an inch here on the plaid side by five and a quarter. And I'm going to say it's going in our trash bowl. You did a good service. You're done. And then let's do, let's see, what is this cut at? Oh, exactly. Three. Let's do a three by three piece, which, you know, then you can get four out of um, one of these six by six pieces. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is determine which way I like this. Oh, I guess it's non-directional, so I can do whatever I want. I thought some of them were facing up and some of them were facing down. I was wrong. Did I, do I have this cut at five and a quarter? I do. Just making sure. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here on this piece. Now I'm going to grab a piece of, this is an old piece of scrap paper and I'm going to grab, I haven't spritzed in a long time, so I decided I'm going to grab the black uh, Stampin' Right marker and we're going to do a little spritz. Now spritzing is something either you get it or you don't. It's very easy, but the trick is to have a gentle touch. So you want to have a um, stamp and write marker that is fairly full of ink. If it's half dried up, it's, it's not going to spritz very well. And you want to use the top of the cap and you just kind of lightly flick. Well, I might have been a little too light. Okay. You don't need much, just that little bit. And let me show you what that does. It gives that little detail. Now this is important because that thing that Bill says, wait until you see at the end, you'll understand. So I want to, I'm gonna start with taking a half inch by three inch piece of mossy meadow. And I'm gonna glue right across here. I'm going to do a comparison on how I, how I make, I don't think that was enough glue. Was that enough glue? No. Nope. You don't want to have too much, but. You got to have something so it sticks. Yeah, there you go. So the reason why I stopped and took it off is because I find if I just go to the flat side, I can usually get my, well, now, there we go. Okay, so then let's glue this on to the front of our card. How many people spritz with their markers? How many people have seen it done? How many people use it? It is such a fun little detail to add on your card. If you want just a little something because it seems a little too white. I love spritzing. I just haven't done it in a while. Mostly because every time I think I'm going to go and order a black Stampin' Right marker, I forget. <laughs> Serious, I'm not even lying. Okay, so then let's take this piece and let's have this be an access, accent piece right here on the side. This is a way to make your card, it's not really a fun fold, but interesting fold. How about that? Well, some people would rather spritz in their drinks. Spritz in their drinks. <laughs> oh my gosh, Bill. You are... Did I cut this right? I hope I did. Yes, I did. So I want to give kind of an equal border around here. Now, you can leave it like this because this is light enough that you can write on. However, 
I'm going to use that other piece and just go along here and stick this down because I want that white with the DSP to really, I really like, ever since Bill got me turned on to beige, I think for Christmas, a lot of the cards that you will see, this beige is a really fun color. Okay, so it's got an interesting open and it's got beautiful DSP that coordinates together. What more could we do? Well, let's put a sled on it. So <clears throat> I'm gonna pull out my silicone mat. This thing is marvelous. And I'm gonna pull out all these little pieces that I put in a separate little thing because I tend to lose them if I don't. So let's take this sled. Now this wasn't that hard. And I'm gonna glue this on. Now you can do this a couple of ways. Since I've got layers upon layers, this is like a seven layer salad. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> I'm going to just do a small bead because I'm gonna have other layers on top. So I don't need to have to have every little inch of this glued down and have glue coming out of all corners of this thing. So very lightly, very light pressure. Just do the smallest little bead of glue. And I think I'll just do kind of like that. Now, originally, when I was doing this card, I did something different and I did not like it. So I had to redo the other the card. Now, I want you to be careful because I have actually glued this on wrong and had to do another one. So you have the front, which is rounded, and the back, the bottom, which is kind of flat. And so this just goes right on top. Now this was early espresso, the little base, and then that I, this is what I used. You could do all kinds of colors. I just wanted the warmer colors. And then um, this is crumb cake. So it not only cuts out the little pieces, but it also does that little bit of kind of almost like an embossed effect of the wood grain. Pretty cool, huh? It is, I like it. So again, I just do this is kind of the most inexpensive way to hook this on. Now, when you get too much, pull it off. So here is a tip. If you want this, the ends to lay down, definitely have a little on the ends. You do not need much, but you do need to cover it. And I am gonna turn around here and make sure I get these little pieces to lay down. Okay, here we go. So I glued up too high. You don't wanna do it high. You wanna just have a small little bit showing down here. Okay, I hope that helps when I tell you guys that. Now I'm gonna let that sit a minute. I am not, I'm gonna bring it back and do this top part. This is the top of the sled right here. Any questions or anything, Bill? You're just so no, quiet. I'm... You told your joke and now you're done or what? No, I'm not done. <laughs> okay. So now while we're waiting I um, for this to dry a little bit, I'm going to go on to the skates. Now I chose white. You could do colored laces if you wanted to. You could do whatever color you wanted to on them. You could do a different colored. Um, I want to grab out. This now is, this isn't in the catalog, right? No, this is an online, online exclusive. So I really love, I, this is, it says Ek Tools. I got it off of Amazon. It's a reverse. Very, we have some Ours are not as detailed as this. This has a very fine point. This is my personal preference. I'm not, I don't represent them. I don't get a commission for them. But if you take it and you put it on like this, you can actually put the laces. I chose white on purpose. I don't want to have so much going on. So I chose white. Now I want, here's a tip. So when you do your glue, you don't have to do the glue. You can, we've got all different kinds of things, but this is pretty economical. When you do the glue, I don't know if you can see that. I just have it right there and I'm gonna run my finger over this, kind of spreading it out and thinning it out because you're not, 
it's not going to need much to hold this little light piece of paper on. I'm going to turn this because I'm right handed. And I want the bow to come up the top. I'm going to move that back. There we go. Let that go. There we go. So same thing. Put it on. Add a little glue. Smear it around a bit. Come on over. You got them going the right way? Yes. Okay. I got them going the right way. They face the same direction. I know. Oh, okay. I thought giving you a hard time. Well, you're good at that. Every, Hello, Deb Norman. Every day of my life, he gives me a hard time. What do you mean a little bit? So I'm going to put a little bit of silver. If you've ever gotten on our silver foil paper, again, I have these pre-cut. All of these come in the die set. If you've ever put it on and then you smear it, you get too much on this side, you end up ruining the foil look. So put a little bit on the heel. You don't need it all over the whole thing. It's going to stick, trust me. See? It sticks. Wouldn't you know it? Did, you <laughs> it? Yeah. did I even get any on there? I thought I did. Here we go. Let's try it again. Take two. Take this is two. why live is so hard. You can't cut. Okay. I know I have it. There we go. And this is right after Laura said you made it look easy. It is easy. It's just uh <laughs> it's just me. Okay, push it down this time. It will hold. That's all you need. These are such small pieces. Don't worry. So put a drop. Make sure you get a drop on. But when it if it's too much, just rub some off. You did it doesn't take much so that you don't get it all over your foil paper. Then you can come in here. It's releasing with that. These are tight. Okay, so now we have these. I This is, now we're used Mossy Meadow here, but I'm using Old Olive. Why doesn't that look like I cut out Old Olive? It was in my Old Olive thing. Mm. I think it's Old Olive. But now on this one, I'm going to just take a piece of glue dot and stick it right on the center and I rolled it because I want it to have a little bit of height and then see how easy this is building up to look extraordinary I love it and then I'm going to use some of the Baker's Twine Essential Pack and I purposely did this I did a double bow. I will have a demonstration coming out soon enough, but I didn't want to do that on camera since this has so many pieces. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to roll up and I'm going to put it right in the same spot because I'm going to hopefully have an opportunity for people to purchase a or not purchase. Um, I'm going to have a giveaway. Ooh, they can win. Hopefully, if I can get uh, some of those bow makers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. By the end of the year, I'm hoping. We'll do some talking. Yeah. Okay. So now I have this little baker's twine bow. Something did? Oh. No, these. Oh, you hadn't put those on. They just stuck no. to the back of the thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So the first one I'm going to glue down. I wanted to get that top so I could get the idea of where I wanted it. And I'm going to glue it down right there. And the second one, and I kind of want almost, well, it's glued now. A dimensional, and I'm going to pop this one up. Is this card Ooh. like awesome? They're loving it. So far. Ah, come on. And I'm gonna have this one go kind of off to the side here, like so. Da -da -da. 
All right, then we're not done. Where is, so you know these little hard pieces of window sheet that you get in your um, stamp sets? Do not throw them out. Let me show you a trick. We're gonna recycle and repurpose this. So I'm gonna pull out some cherry cobbler. And the sentiment that I chose, now I'm a Merry Christmas person, but I'm making this card so that it can be, uh, uh, I guess, for those who just don't. A friendly card. Yes, celebrate. You wanna send a, they don't celebrate Christmas, but you wanna send them a card. So I took the good tidings out of here, and I'm just gonna, Put good tidings right on here just up at the top that way I can see where I like it if I like it there did I want something popped up I decided that another thing popped up down below would take away from my cute little thing so I'm gonna go about there my cute little image and I don't recommend um, stamping after the fact but since it's a clear mount stamp I wanted to see where I positioned this first. That's why I'm doing it. Did I just over ink that? Probably. Probably. I made Bill go clean my chamois. <laughs> Notice I say made. <laughs> yep. Part of my chores. That's part of his chores. <coughs> and um, so let me start. Part of my admission to the show. That's right. You got to earn it, mister. So I'm gonna push it right there, not rock it, but just give it a good press, good tidings, okay. And then while I've got this out here, for the inside it says, let's decorate the season with happiness. So it's non Christmassy, but still. I have friends that don't celebrate Christmas, so this is a good thing for me to be able to acknowledge. But remember this tip. It allows you to kind of see where you want it. So I have it kind of off center. Okay. It's kind of a cool tip. Yeah. Again, stick around at the end. There's some <laughs> more tips coming. You're so funny. All right. So now we have this cute little um, cardinal. And we've got a glue dot and a layer and then a glue dot and then this bulkiness here. So I definitely want to find like maybe my... A dimensional? A dimensional, yeah. But let me, where's my... I'm going to take and I'm going to cut one of the outside edges of the dimensional. And I'm just going to place it as close as possible and skew it right up there and take those off. That way I have just a little bit of depth to hold it because you know me, I don't like any sag. But then I'm gonna go for another, where's my glue dots? Because I wanted it to be raised and I'm gonna roll it again because in that center there's nothing to hold that down. Now this baby's gonna hold but it gives a nice little look to the center of that. Isn't that cute? Cuteness, cuteness. Let me pull back out my... We, um, in the new catalog, there are some red um, gems. They are currently not available, but they will be coming back in. However, if you don't have them, this is the next tip is take your Stampin' Write markers, or not Stampin' Write, your blends, and go ahead and color them. And I'm gonna color three of them here. I guess you're using three. I'm using three. And so I want to, let me grab this here. Make sure they dry, they're alcohol-based, so they dry very fast. But let's put, one there. I want to keep this all kind of around my focal point, even though I've got empty space here. That's pretty paper. This is pretty paper. Let's keep it all around the focal point. So I'm going to go right around here. Isn't this just a super? It really isn't that hard. I actually ran through, if I would have 
had that done, I would have ran that through too. But I ran this through on one um, pass on my stamp, my large stamp and cut emboss machine. And it is just stunning. I think it's just really stunning. So it's a holiday card. I'm going to call it a holiday card. Now, there's more. What? I, well, you told him to stick around to the end. That's right. So I want to show you my first attempt at this card, and I want to kind of tear it apart. Don't... I'm not doing it to tear my work apart. I'm doing it to show how I improve. Because I make mistakes. I do things and want to do them different all the time. I think um, I come here and I show you some cards, and then you probably think, what, what? Uh, she's just so good at this. Okay, so... My That's first, not with beige. it's not with beige, and I felt like I think it's just as pretty, but I felt like this brought out the DSP better, and I felt like it brought out my, the the focal point doing it on the beige. So that you were right, you caught the first thing. The second thing, I did that little bit of spritz in the stamp set. You'll see. They have these snowflakes. Now, on this design, I think it'd look good in other designs. But in this design, I stamped off in, I don't know if it shows. I stamped off, and I think the spritz actually is just a little bit lighter than that big snowflake. The second thing that you'll notice that I did is... I have, I was thinking about putting the sled in the center of the card. It looked off to me, so I moved it over. The next thing that you might notice is that I have the good tidings popped up. Again, I felt like it was pulling away from the card, but I wanted something red, which is why I added the cardinal, because I wanted to pull some more color up there with that subtle background, I felt that this was more white and I felt like I needed that. You're also gonna notice, look at where my, um, um, I was gonna say skis, what are these, skates are. They're more in the middle. It hides a lot of the fun of the, of the sled. So I definitely wanted to move them off to the side because I feel like, you know, that just gives um, a little bit more visual of what's going on. So, I mean, they're both good cards. I'll probably use this card. Um, this won't be the card that you're going to win next week after I tore it apart. You know, it'll be, I have another one ready to go. But I, I just, I'm. my point is, is that I don't do things right. Um, the Also, I had the darker green here and if you see this was in my um, old olive but let me show you this one I mean it works just as well but I feel like the this is mossy meadow and I feel like the the old olive since we've got all this mossy meadow it coordinates very well but actually this is probably my favorite and I just didn't catch it in time um, if you look at the two of them you can see that the mossy meadow has such a lighter feel to it. So um, just a few things to kind of talk about. I don't always do things correct or perfect the first time. It's still a, a fine card, but um, if you do something, don't just go, ah, oh, that doesn't look like what she did. Try it again. It gets easier as you go on. Um, another thing, especially when you're doing something that is... Um, maybe as uh, an avid stamper, it is, in my suggestion, the best to copy someone. Copy it. If you don't have your own original ideas, it is okay to copy. And until you start getting your own, you kind of develop your well, style. Case is for. Yeah, case. Copy and share everything. So, just so you guys know, this is my interpretation of a, I think it was, an Australian, no, it was a Canadian demonstrator, I think, that did it. I can't remember. I changed it up and did my own thing, but I basically copied kind of what she did. 
um, because I thought it was a good idea. So I case two. There's nothing that um, is necessarily really original until I, I usually claim it if it's my original because it's like pat myself on the back, right? So, right. <laughs> okay. Um, the last things are is these will now be for next week. So share the video. If you a lot want, of people are. If you want to order these things, they are available now um, on my online store. If you use my host code, you get perks rewards with that, which is awesome. If you would like to get a copy of the new catalog and you do not have a demonstrator that you're working with currently, I would be happy to send you the first one for free. Um, what else do we have here? If you want the measurements to my card to case... Bill's going to paste, uh, paste it down. So what I do is I send an email twice a week for my um, parfait and for this one uh, demonstration. www.piccadillystampin.blogspot.com and you can get a copy of that. Paper share. I've had a lot of you go into the paper share. If you don't know what it is, the long and short of it is it is... You can get all the paper for a quarter of the cost yes and not have all the waste from exactly from the mini catalog you need to do this more often um <laughs> for those of you who have not redeemed your coupons that ordered last month you have coupons and we're down to like the Ten last days. last week and a half um use your coupons go back look at your july emails and that from stampin up and collect those coupon codes so that you can use them before they they at the end of the month they're no good so there's 15 percent off on dsp this is not a dsp that is on that it is only from the us catalog, right? our annual catalog yeah um so if you want to stock up on that and the last thing is, is if you use that host code, you get into my Perks Rewards program. It is the best one out there, I think. Yep. Um, so for every $35 you spend with me, you get a reward point. And that's it. We're down to the end of it. Oh, so, hey. What? Next week's card. You guys have got to come see it. I got a sneak peek. It is awesome. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of creating lately, and so it is an avid card like this. Probably, it's actually a fun fold, so um, come and join us next week, 7 p.m. Central Time, and I will see you then. That's right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.